Keep your heart open to the Lord. Is there someone here, you've been having pain or problems from uh, up around your, where your leg joins your body all the way down your leg into uh, that area? There's been pain or problems of some kind? Just wave your hand at me if that's you. You've been having, we've got more than one person. Yeah. Every, man, we've got people all over the place. Well, come on up here. All of you that, that raise your hand, just come on up here to the front. You know, God, uh, God can heal one person or minister to one person, or he can get a whole bunch of folks at one time. Amen. You've been having some kind of discomfort or problem or something that kind of starts up here where your leg joins your body and goes down your leg. Come on over here, guys. Join the group. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, we praise you tonight. Let's just worship the Lord. This is not a me thing. This is a we thing. All of us in here, I like to say, let's gang up on the devil. Amen. I believe that. Read the book of Acts, chapter 4, chapter 5. When they all came into one accord, they shook the place with their prayers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of you are in pain right now? You are? Anybody else? Slightly? Been having trouble, though, off and on, or, yeah? Okay. Everybody in here, stretch your hand out toward them and agree with me. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over pain. I command it to leave right now. I command you to leave this room. I give you no place. Not only in these bodies, but in the bodies of the people out there where they might be having pain. I command you in Jesus' name to leave. And Lord, I thank you for your divine healing power right now. I thank you for your love. I thank you, Father, because it is a part of our covenant. Hallelujah. You said in the word that, that healing is the children's bread. And so I thank you that your people are feasting on your bread tonight, right now. Whatever the, whatever the problem is, in Jesus' name, I command it to be corrected by the name of the Lord Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Father, for the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah, just receive his anointing tonight in your body. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your goodness. Just keep praising him. Get your eyes on him and praise him and thank him. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, be healed from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. The Lord's doing other things in your body right now. He's balancing some things. He's correcting some things. He's stopping some things that are trying to start. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for that. We bless them. By your stripes, they are healed. We thank you for your healing power right now in the name of Jesus. In my sister's life, right now in her body. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. While we're ministering to these, if there's somebody else here tonight, you've been, you're have been, you either planning to or you've been praying about or whatever, starting a new business, just come up here. You're already up here. So anybody else, if that's you, if there's been some things in the works or you're just praying about it, thinking about it, just come on up here. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship God tonight. Holy Spirit, we give you free course. Those of you that had pain in your body, check and see how you're doing right now. Still got pain? Huh? Doing better? How much of it's gone? Half of it? A third of it? It's gone? Oh, it is gone. Okay, praise the Lord. Praise God. Who else? Somebody else was having pain. Who was it? You? How you doing? It's gone? Praise God. Johnny, doing good too? Well, Father, we thank you for doing that. We give you praise. If it was our body that was in pain, we would be happy, happy, happy right now. And we're happy for these. We rejoice with those that rejoice right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your love. You praying about starting a business? Come on over here. You? 
Oh, Scott. Okay. All right. Anybody else? You? You too? Okay, we'll include you in this prayer. You too? Well, the Lord knows the hearts of people, doesn't he? Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Well, let's agree right now. Lord, we open up. Now, I know that you don't say these things, Father, for no reason. Thank you, Father. We just open ourselves to you, Lord. Well, here's what I'm getting right now. Listen to the Lord. To those of you that are, that are praying about doing this, listen to the Lord. Don't get in a hurry. Don't try to make things happen. Listen to the Lord, and he's going to take you down. He's going to lead you. In some cases, he's going to have you actually just step right into situations that uh, uh, you don't even, you know, he's not going to tell you about it ahead of time. But you're going to find yourself at the right place doing the right thing with the right people because this is really something that's born of him, and he's going to put you in that position for what's ahead a so he has the liberty to use you the way he wants to use you. Now, not everybody is called to be in, in their own business, but there are people that are called, and it's just as much a spiritual calling as it is anything else. And that business belongs to the Lord. So, Lord, we agree right now. I thank you that you help them, Father. And if they start to try to do something on their own, I pray that the Spirit of God would arrest their attention. I pray that the Spirit of God would even block them, if need be, from stepping in or doing something that's not of you. I thank you that all demonic deception and all of those things that the enemy will do and things like this to try to distract people or move them into something that's not you, I thank you that that's blocked and shut off right now in the name of Jesus. And I say that the hand of the Lord is upon this. Lord, I thank you that the angels of God are going before them, working with them. As your word says in Hebrews 11, they are sent to minister for the heirs of salvation. And I thank you, Father God, that these businesses and these things that are born of you, that they flourish because they're born of you, and they are used for the right purpose, and that is to bless your kingdom and to do what needs to be done in Jesus' name. And we thank you for it, Father. You agree with me? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Let's praise him. Come on, let's just praise him a little bit. This ain't about me or you or anybody else. It's about him. I worship you, Lord. You are good, and your mercies are forever. Hallelujah. We adore you, Father. You're so good, Lord. I'm thankful, Father. Thankful for who you are in my life. Thankful for who you are in my life. We thank you for your peace. You know, there's so many tormented Christians in the world right now. The devil is a big liar, my friend. He wouldn't know the truth if it slapped him in the face. He's the author of nothing but lies and deception. And, he's, and God has not given us a spirit of fear. That's, the enemy does that. People are tormented by the devil. They're fearful right now. We have nothing to be afraid of. I don't care what the guy in North Korea thinks. He's got to get past God to do what he's wanting to do. It's not going to happen. God's going to shut him down. You just watch what God's doing in that situation. God's got control of this nation, too. The church has been praying for 30 years. You know, we always hear about what the church is not doing, and we do have to watch, you know, make sure we stay lined up with God. I understand that. But there's been prayer. I have a friend that travels this state, and God's opened doors for him to work with prayer groups. There are tens of thousands of Christians interceding and praying for this state and for this nation and this world on a continual basis. Do you think the Lord is going to ignore that? He wouldn't be a righteous God if he did. Amen? Amen. So I just say in Jesus' name, receive the peace of God in your mind. When those lying thoughts of the spirit of fear from the enemy come, and you start finding yourself getting on edge, tensing up, getting that little angst and anxiety, you just cast that down in Jesus' name. See, I found in my life that whatever I put in God's hands comes out right. And so when the enemy tries to torment me about my family, my grandkids, money, whatever it is, whatever the demon of the day is, I just take that and I say, thank you, devil, for giving me that prayer request right now. 
I give that to the Lord. I trust you with it. Lord, if you've got something to say to me, because you see, God's our king. And the duties of a king are to provide and protect. That's not your part. That's his part. Our part as his children is to listen and obey. Amen. And so, Lord, I pray for your people in here tonight, the people that might be online through the uh, Internet right now that might be watching. I come against the spirit of fear. I release peace, the peace of God, the peace and the shalom of God that passes all understanding into the hearts and minds of your people. There's somebody in here. You have been worrying a lot lately. The enemy's been tormenting you. He's been harassing your mind. He's been hitting you with a lot of what ifs. I understand that. I used to live in torment every day, even though I was a, a Christian. And I lived on the what ifs about the future. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if this doesn't happen? What if that doesn't happen? And the Lord helped me. And so right now in Jesus' name, I say you're delivered from the what ifs. That may sound kind of funny, but it's the truth. Because there are no what ifs in your life. Well, what if the enemy shows up, Pastor? Well, what if he does? He's not bigger than God. Amen? He's, if God be for us, who can be against us? So, Lord, we thank you and we receive your peace right now. The peace that passes understanding. We don't have to understand it. You do. And we give you praise for it, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. What a glorious day to be alive.